Let me tell you about Anthony. He's a general contractor who uses subs for everything and he sells all of his work at at least a 50% gross profit. Uh, he has sold projects all the way up to a million dollars at a 50% gross profit, subbing out all the work. He is a one man show with an incredible subcontracting team. They're strong, they're loyal, they have each other's backs. He earns over $3 million a year at a 50% gross profit using just subs. And so today I wanna to share with you a few things of how does he do this? He's also one of our coaches in the Contractor Fight Battleground program. I'm gonna give you some of the highlights, three highlights from a training he did for our battleground group where we, he went really deep on this stuff and helped uh, our community there. Because I'm just giving the highlights, this is not an all-inclusive list of everything Anthony does, but it'll give you a place to start. So the first thing Anthony will tell you, in order to build an amazing subcontracting team, you need to hunt for them consistently. If you don't show up each and every day focused on building the team of subcontractors that you want, you're going to struggle. So where do you look? We get messages like this all the time. Well, where do I find the subs? When I get questions like this, I can't help but get a little jaded now and then. Part of me just wants to go f off. You're not even trying. Because if you were trying, if you gave this five minutes of thought, you would come up with these things and then you would take the action and you'd get the damn results that you want. For those of you that are too lazy to do any f thinking on your own right now, I'm going to give you a few places you can find your subcontractors. Number one is your vendors. Who are you buying stuff for? They sell sh to other people. Who's the best framer that you know? And when I say best, like their people are polite. They pay their bills on time. Questions like that. You'll get them thinking, the you know who's a really good framer is Joe Smith. That guy's rock solid. He's been a client of ours for years. He's go on Google and uh, type in siding contractors near me and then look at the reviews. If they're in someone's property, in somebody's home on, on their property, commercial residential property, and they're getting great reviews, these guys are great to have it around and, and all these other compliments that they're getting, then they're going to carry that same experience over to you and your clients. You can also go to your home builders association, join the one that makes sense for you and network and build relationships with other people. Next is referrals from your other subs. you really good subs. Well, good people hang out with good people. Good people work with other good people. Open your damn mouth, ask your subs. And then finally go on social media. If you're looking for a painter, a plumber, this and that to sub your workout to, just go into your personal profile or go into the community group or next door or anything Anything like that and just go, I'm a general contractor, I'm looking to level up the quality of my team, who can share with me the best painting contractor that they know. And then when they drop those in there, you pick up the damn phone and go, hey, I put word on the street that I was looking for XYZ type sub, your name popped up, I was wondering if it would make sense for us to have a conversation. But the number one indicator for me is if they're not Johnny on the spot, BAM! Getting back to me, they're, that's how they're gonna be when they're dealing with me. Second thing, keep your unicorns happy. Cause that's what these subs are, right? You get a good sub, that's like a unicorn, man. You wanna keep them happy happy. You want to make working with you a benefit to their life. How do you do that? You pay them quickly. Don't nitpick them on price. Don't beat them up. There's a reason they're more money. If they communicate well and all the other criteria that you're looking for in a great subcontractor, they're going to cost more money. So don't bitch about how, oh, I can't be competitive if they're more money. No, you need to level up your damn sales skills and quit being a little bitch about it. <laughs> Communicate with them like a beast. Be fanatical about the communication. Set the expectations early in the relationship of how this is gonna work. Why? Because if they're a good communicator, they're gonna respect that. They're gonna love the dialogue with you. They're gonna love the fact that, man, I finally have a GC or a builder or whatever the hell you are that's subbing out to them that isn't trying to beat them up, that isn't keeping them in the dark about things, that isn't trying to help them succeed and be more successful. Feed them work. Uh, that, that's a given. If you want your unicorns to be happy, then you gotta be making their phone ring with project after project after project. Last thing here, guys, about keeping your unicorn happy, have their back when necessary. And this goes for employees too, but when you have the backs of your subcontractor, when something goes wrong, clients being a pain in the ass, treating them disrespectful, things like that, call a timeout and go, hey, listen, we don't do things like this in this company here. I'm not gonna tolerate you talking to my team this way. That's why Anthony has such a successful subcontracting model and he's killing it in the money department is because his subs know that he takes care of them. And so in turn, he gets priority. They give them their best. So guys, invest into 
to them. Help them win more and you will win more in the end. All right, third thing, speaking of winning, help them win, guide them, mentor them, coach them. You're successful in some things, help them be successful in some things. Give them feedback. Like, hey, if a customer made a comment about something that happened on the job site, pull them aside and go, hey, listen, I know things happen, but just to give you some feedback because I know you always want to get better, give that feedback, good and the bad. Give them the good all the time. Help them win more. You get more of what you draw attention to. So whatever you want more of in your business, give more attention to that. You want your subs to keep doing a kick-ass job for you, then pat them on the back when they do and they'll be more likely to give more of that in return. Wink, wink, you could also give them a link to the contractor fight and help them learn the things that we're teaching here on this channel. So give them resources to help them win. Ask them how things are going. Take them out for a beer or some wings now and then and, and just go, hey dude, what's going on, man? How's your business going? How can I help you win more? It changes the game. Guys, play the long game with your subcontractors, just like you should with your employees. Guys, I hope this helps you out a little bit as you're building your subcontracting team. Imitate Anthony and the things I shared here today. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, share this with another contractor. And if you want more help pricing your work to make money for you and your subcontracting team, go to thecontractorfight.com forward slash 50. And we got a tool there that's free for you to help you do just that. So just like Anthony, you can sell your work at a 50% gross profit while subbing everything out. You guys rock, I gotta roll, I'm out. Fighters, I wanna invite you to go to milehighprofitsummit.com and check out the lineup we have for you at Mile High Profit Summit this year in Denver, Colorado. I'm super excited because not only are we bringing you the theme of sell unafraid, we're also unlocking breakout sessions for the first time. We're gonna dig into the numbers. We're gonna dig into attracting higher quality leads. We're gonna dig in how to sell using simple tools that are out there for you so that you can walk home with higher profits and a better quality of life. Go to milehighprofitsummit.com and come join us and hang out and let's get real this year and change your life, change your business. I'm out.